Hey, it's Tim. Uh, so today Facebook had an event in Hollywood for its Facebook Live video product. Uh, if you're not familiar with Facebook Live, well, you're watching it right now. So it launched about eight months ago. It's uh, basically just a way for people to broadcast whatever they're doing uh, in the moment live on Facebook. Uh, it's not the only live streaming app out there. Twitter has Periscope, there's also Meerkat, and you now, uh, YouTube supposedly working on its own live streaming app. But the thing about Facebook Live is it has Facebook's audience, or at least the potential to reach Facebook's audience, which is you know more than a billion people every day. I thought it was gonna be a few hundred people or something like that. And I think at one point we had uh, over 150,000 people that were on the feed. I was showing snakes and pulling out an alligator and, and uh, they dropped like 8,000 questions on me within 30 minutes, so it was pretty awesome. I got to know some people that are constantly tuning into the live feeds and they've kind of become regulars in a sense, which is really cool. And you're like, oh, Bob, how are you doing today? Yeah. <laughs> All of the Facebook execs and creator that, creators that I talked to today seemed kind of surprised at how quickly Facebook Live has taken off. We're kind of blown away by how much usage it's gotten from broadcasters, how interactive and engaging it's been for viewers. In the last couple of months, we've really seen just awesome adoption and a lot of different use cases. So that's why we've invested so much in the product so fast. And so the, all of the updates today are really meant to make it even more fun to broadcast, even more fun to interact because the interactivity is very core to this product and also give you better ways to discover live content that you may be interested in. Making it easier for people to find something to watch is super important, especially if Facebook wants media companies uh, to really be investing in Facebook Live. Some already are, like uh, this one digital video network, Tastemade. It's kind of like a food network for people who like to watch videos on their phones. We are going to be doing 100 live uh, broadcasts per month on Facebook Live starting uh, in April. Given how much attention Facebook is giving to live, it's only a matter of time before Facebook figures out a way to make money from live. Um, talked with Fiji Simo, who's the product director for video over at Facebook, and she led me to believe that advertising will be involved. We know that partners are going to need a way uh, to really monetize their presence on live, and we're really committed to finding a monetization model that works for them. So we're going to be working with some of them to figure out something that works for people, for partners, for advertisers, all three constituents, but it's very early for now, so we're, we're just starting to think about that. Facebook sees an opportunity to make money with live, which is why it wants more people watching and posting live video to Facebook. And again, that's what Wednesday's event was all about. New bells and whistles that make Facebook live more on par with like Twitter's Periscope, where you can see like emojis that represent how people are reacting to different moments during a live stream. Facebook's also making it so that if you miss a live stream, you don't feel like you missed out on everything, especially like the, the social parts, the comments, the, the reactions, the emojis. The interactivity is such a part of the broadcast that you kind of need to see it to get what's going on. To give you a concrete example of why replay and comments is so important, for example, one of the first tutorials we did was lighting up an LED. So LEDs are really small components. You use a tiny uh, light emitting diode, a breadboard, and some wires. Because those parts are so small, the camera really has to zoom in on top of them. Now, if you're watching the video later on, some, if someone asked a question and said, like, you know, which, uh, which wire, what's the positive and the negative end? If you're able to replay that comment in real time with the video, that person's gonna be able to understand the concept better and understand the video. But the biggest news, I think, is Facebook uh, propping up live video even more within its app. It's gonna add a section to the home screen in its app that links to live video so you can click on it and see all the people that are live at that moment and tune into as many as you want. The thing that really motivated putting a spot in the app where you can go to live was the realization that while a lot of people are seeing great live broadcasts from the pages they're connected to or from their friends or they're, they're finding about a live broadcast through their friends, there's a bunch of really amazing live content on the service that you may not know about. And the idea behind having that video button uh, in the app was for people who want to go see what's going on around the world with live and, and, and or on a particular topic, having a space for them to go to. Having a topic of science and technology uh, would be fantastic, knowing that we have companies like ourselves or astronauts out there that are doing really great, nerdy, geeky things that everyone can share.
I can be in my section. So whether it's wildlife or animals or whatever that section's gonna be, people can find me because they can go in that section. It's not just in someone's news feed, but they can go, hey, what's going on in the wildlife world? And then all of a sudden, bam, my video's there. They're gonna start following me.